the, the general rule of thumb is there should be 20% apprenticeship. So using basic math, there's 100 people working on the bridge, there should be 20 apprentices. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. Um, that might be something to be talked about. Of course, as you said, all the actuality, the fact of the matter is, these people are not actually for the journeyman position. They just want to be a part of the apprenticeship program. Um, I think 20% isn't bad. We, we got to look at it like that. Okay, and if each one is making what? Uh, about 16 bucks an hour generally. Okay, so what an apprenticeship starts uh, 40, at. 40,000, 50,000. Well, with benefits, it runs a little higher than that. But it, it, the more your skill level advanced, then the more I had to go exactly. to a four year apprenticeship program. Right, exactly. I couldn't go there. You know, I couldn't say I'm 47 ain't going to the apprenticeship. They're going to say, get lost. So I had to give and take and go to school two nights a week in order to now make eighty-two thousand dollars with benefits last year. Right. You know, so you got that's just the way right. this is working. But of course, twenty percent, uh, Mr. Mayor, that's usually if you got a hundred people working there, twenty percent should be apprenticed. And the the uh, nine hundred pound gorilla in the room is the fact that the contractors can make the the local can make the contractors jump through hoops. Those contractors are not going to budge because what they'll do, they'll send him out there two, three days, so he's just not working out. But when you say, hey, we're not, you've got to have a friendship and train these people because the program that Mr. Mason and all came through, that was an introductory program. Exactly. See, I didn't learn how to move a 48,000 pound pipe overnight. So the point I'm making is we have to be reasonable with this as well. All I want to see is that people get a chance at the apprenticeship program. Yeah. That's, 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 that's exactly right. Give them a chance at the program. That's exactly right. right. Bill, <clears throat> what you're saying is a 20% 20, 20 ratio. Yes, sir. Right now, I don't know if there are 20 jobs just available. If, 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 if the money were available, yes, I don't know if there are 20 jobs available down there right now. I think they're probably really hard up. I don't know. It's it's rare crap. So, so what I'm saying about is, okay, but I'm saying maybe in labor, for example, labor and effort. That's usually the rule of thumb, the apprenticeship, okay? And, and they should have. That's what I'm getting back to, yes. trying to get the federal funds to jump, yes, jump started in. Yes. So if you got 20 available, they can start right away and go on. And so infuse an apprentice yeah. into it. Rather than waiting to another phase of the construction, has yes, to, where the new jobs be, you know, opens yes, up. Put in there, right? Yes, sir. But see, a lot of the lot of times, it's not in our neighborhood that we are qualified that we've been trained to do the job. They come from everywhere else and got our jobs. We might be trained and qualified to do the job, but they don't. They don't brought people into our city into no our recognition city to do the job that we are qualified to do. That y'all paid for it for us to do. The government, everything. They pay for to have these jobs. We are qualified. We can be laborers. We can be corporate, but they won't let us be down there because they done got all these other people out of other communities, out of other uh, cities and villages and stuff. Got our jobs. That's what we complain about. Right. These are our jobs. Yes, ma'am. Mayor Porch, this to you. Going into the meeting, you said that um, talking to Governor Quinn, Quinn that you was hopeful of it being fruitful. Was it fruitful in that aspect? It was extremely fruitful. The governor's staff came in, Mr. Darrell Harris, along with the individuals who were on the phone, really made a difference with how IDOT was even able to respond to us because they had a couple of questions when IDOT may have said, well, no, we can't do that. The question came in, well, why can't we look at it this way? They looked at it from a totally humanistic way, right. not just here's what's legal, but here's what's humanly right. Oh, okay. and, and, yes. and one of the things that impressed me about the thing today with the secretary is that she said they're going to have a meet and greet Monday with the trainee. They're going to send letters to all the trainees or calls to all the trainees or something. Did they not say that? And what? that it's not going to be the regular meeting brief, but they're going to try to see what they can do to try to get some of those uh, union well, contracts to the work. Well, right. Switch sent out a statement for that. Okay. And I believe that was just all set what we were doing because we tried to get them to do that earlier. We, okay. we were, we're the ones who've been having to meet and greet. Okay. We couldn't get them to pay for it. Okay. So now they're, they're doing that now, I think, because Okay, but anyway, if, you spoke, Yo, if, if it works fine. Okay, they asking everybody, that asking all the trainees that went through the program to be there, right? <laughs> at the uh, at the shrine of our lady. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's what I was about to say because I got that same letter at the shrine from four to seven on Monday. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's what I wanted to know. That was my question. Yeah. So I'm clear on that. Can we end this now? Yeah. Okay. In behalf of the leadership team, the mayor, and 
retrospect to our leader, Dr. Zachary Lawrence Lee, as a pastor and all of We're going to give y'all what we all collectively did today was the four C's. Christ, commitment, consistency, and Thursday that will be changed. Here, here. Ooh, I'm with you. Here, here. Pastor. I'm with you. So thanks, everybody, for coming out. Thank you, members of the media, for being here. Right.